Hey everybody, how's things going tonight? Warren here from Northwoods in the Backwoods. Um, I wanted to make a video here quick. It's not going to be a real long video because most of my videos aren't that long. But um, I got a sharpener that I can sharpen my own bandsaw blades with. It's made by Norwood. It's called a Lumbermate 2000. Um, this is a pretty cool sharpener. I'll flip the camera around here in a minute and show you guys a, kind of a video of how this thing works. But um, I think I've done tonight... Well, all in all, I've done, I think, eight blades that I had that were dull. Normally, I would send them out to somebody, or not send them out, but bring them out to somebody that has them, that has a sharpener that could do them, whether it's made by Wood Miser or whoever that would do them. Um, I had a guy do them last time, did a really good job with them. I thought they were great. Um, but I got the sharpener, and uh, now I can do my own. It's not an automatic sharpener like wood miser would have or norwood or um, woodland mills or any of the big manufacturers would have this is a norwood one but it's a manual one i have to crank this through and um sharpen the blades that way i, I go two passes um i'll kind of show you a video here i'll flip the camera around and show you how this is done but uh anyway i'll do that now oh crap i can't Okay, well, I'll turn the camera here. Anyway, you can kind of see this. I'm going to hold the camera just like this. You can see your blade. Um, think of a ski slope. The way I do it first is I go through and I do the upper part right here. This will come down and crank, and I'll show this to you in a minute. Um, and it hits kind of the top here of the blade, a little bit of the gullet, and then it hits this part. And then what I'll do next is I'll shut it off and I'll reset it and it will do the inside of the tooth right here. So I go through and I do it in two passes. Um, I've seen a guy on here do it all in one. Um, I didn't like the way he was doing it. I thought he took too much off and he kind of took too much of the gullet out, but um, I'm doing it in two passes. There's a few other videos on Facebook or on uh, YouTube that I've watched with this sharpener. Um, and everybody does two passes, so that's what I'm doing. Um, not saying the other guy's wrong. I just prefer this way better because these um, these bits right here are made by Dremel, and these are this is an actually a it's it's a Dremel that you use. And um, the ones I had prior to this were a ceramic compound. They're made ceramic. Um, to me, they didn't last long. I'd get through two or three blades, and they'd be down to, you know, less than a dime size. These brand new that I bought today are a aluminum oxide base, so um, they start out the size of probably a quarter, maybe a little smaller, and I'm still doing great on them. This is my third blade I've done tonight, and um, it's still fairly big, so... But again, I'm doing two passes, so I think if you do one pass and hit everything, the gullet, the slope going up, and then coming down, I think you take too much off the material off the, um, the sharpening stone. So um, I'm gonna kind of show you guys how this works. I'm just doing the top of the, again, like a ski slope where you're going up, I'm doing the top of it, and then I'll come around and I'll do the, um, the straight down part. So as best I can hold my phone here and show you this, I'm gonna do it. Um, I'm sorry for the crappy quality video, but I'll do my best. So i got to put my safety glasses on so I don't get metal in my eyes. It's the only set of eyes I have. So you guys kind of get the general idea how that works. Um, so I'll do this. I'll finish it. I got a mark, which is, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's right there, that yellow mark. That's where I started. That's where I'll stop. And then I'll reset it and I'll do the other part. So, um, so far these have been turning out really well. I'm pretty, pretty amazed at it and pretty, uh, pretty surprised. But the true test will be once I get them back on the sawmill and start cutting um, how long they're gonna last. So 
brand new blades to me last a super long time. Um, resharps I don't think last as long and that may be normal or that may be the way they're sharpened. But the true test will be when I throw them back on and uh, I start cutting again. So anyway, um, we're starting to get into the cold months in Minnesota here. It's been in the 50s for highs, rainy. Some days aren't rainy, some days are just cold. But once wood starts freezing and logs freeze, um, pine, red oak, white oak, birch, poplar, um, we'll see how they hold up. So um, anyway, I'm going to continue on. And um, if any of you guys have any information on this on this sharpener, if you've used it before or um, you know you have any experience with it, leave me a comment below. Um, I'd like to hear from you because I'm learning about this as I go. I'm definitely no professional. I'm new at this. So if anybody out there has experience with this sharpener or you have any pointers or tips that you could push my way, um, I definitely want to hear from you. So um, that's really about it. Hope you guys are doing great. We'll catch you on the next video.